Schoenberg walks into a bar and says, I'll have a gin, but no tonic. In functional harmony, we always have a home base. We call this home base the tonic. It is the headquarters of whatever key we're in. If we're in C major, then the tonic is C major. If we're in B flat minor, the tonic is B flat minor. And if for some reason we find ourselves in F half sharp major, then the tonic is F half sharp major. The tonic chord is where we're trying to go. Some composers may establish tonic very early, while others may withhold tonic for a while, giving it even more meaning when it's finally achieved. Let's look at this simple chord progression. We see there's this longing for that first chord to go to the second chord. It's why if I just do this, it is bugging the heck out of some of you. Here, I'll be nice. There's a natural desire for resolution. That's the importance of the tonic chord. It's where everything wants to go. Many pieces and songs start with tonic. So in terms of progressing forward, it's kind of like the queen in chess. It can go in any direction. We'll talk more about chord progressions here in a little bit. There are also two other diatonic chords that are not the tonic chord, but have what we call tonic function. Those are the three and the six chords. The three is often called the mediant because it's halfway between the one and the five. In a major key, the three chord is minor, but in a minor key, the three chord is major. There's a close relationship between the one and the three chord because they share two notes. This is why in Shankarian analysis, the three chord is just considered an extension of the tonic. All of this is going to be generally speaking. The three chord in a major key can go to either a subdominant chord or a dominant chord. It is often used to lead us to the four chord as the root of the three and the four chord are only a half step apart. Now, the six chord is called the submediant because it is just as far below the tonic as the mediant chord is above. Much like the three chord, it is minor in a major key, but major in a minor key. It can also be referred to as the tonic parallel, as it can be substituted for the tonic chord, particularly in a deceptive cadence. However, it can also be substituted for the tonic in the middle of a progression to avoid using the tonic. It is also the relative minor of the major key, which means that six and one also share a very close relationship. In terms of progression, the six can also go to any subdominant or dominant function chord, much like the three. All three tonic chords can be used in the same progression to create a sense of motion without actually going anywhere. For example, the Office theme song. It's one, three, and then six before finally moving to the four. Another good example is Aaron Burr's theme from the musical Hamilton. It's a 1-6-3 progression. The chord progression doesn't seem to actually be moving anywhere, which some have noted seems to match Aaron Burr's desire to wait for it. Next time we'll look at dominant area chords, which are the 5 and the 7. So leave any questions you have in the comments and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this episode of 2 Minute Music Theory. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. Also be sure to check out my other channel, Jesse Strickland Music, which is home of all of my compositions. And if you're the kind of person who uses social media, feel free to connect with me there.